Lolly ho there, folks! Space Oyster here, uploading a Final Fantasy XIV video for the first time in a long while. Anyway, um, so this part of the game, uh, it was released a while ago, but I didn't record it the first time I did it, and uh, I decided I wanted to rectify that mistake now that I finally got here on an alternate character I started playing a while back. So, yeah, this is Sergeant Mittens, and he is doing um, the section of the new relic quest added in Shadowbringers, uh, the Blades of Gunhilder, I think it's called. Uh, anyway, uh, for this section, um, you have to go into Sid's memories of uh, when the capital of Bozha was um, being attacked to see the inscriptions on the blades, so that way they can be uh, recreated. Uh, how that's supposed to help win a war, I have no idea. They say something about inspiration, but you think you need more than one. If you're ready, I will begin our exploration. Think back to your time at Bozha Citadel. You needn't fo focus on a specific memory if it helps. Alright, just promise me you'll be careful in there. No promises. Careful is in not my middle name. Yeah, I probably went a little too fast with the text, but... Ooh, yeah, a thing! I bet we're gonna have to use that again sometime. But then again, it's also only part of a side quest, so I don't know if they're going to make it part of the uh, main quest stuff when it's completely optional whether or not your character even knows it exists. Through an encounter with an optional character. Hmm. It sounds wet. Why is Sid's memory wet? Ah, it didn't fully load. I could still hear the Gangos background. Eh, but whatever. This is Bozha Citadel, all right? At least, I think it is. Was it always like this? You know what, the, the, the text is scrolling by too fast. I don't want to read it. No, you can't make me. But, yeah, so, um... Yeah, that's basically what we're doing here. Trying to uh, see the recreations of the memories of the weapons, since Sid is probably the only person alive that we're allied with who actually saw them. Eh. Hmm. The road just ended. Oh, no. Now we're going to have to do things. Yeah, where does this road lead? Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. This all seems so absurd. Recalling the Citadel shouldn't be so diffi difficult. Uh, do you remember where they were heading? Not specifically, no, but they were on edge. Something to do with the Academy's research. Um, I remember the blue of the cobblestone streets, if not for the occasional miss- Oh, right. Yeah, I definitely went way too fast with this. Yeah, but, yeah, I really regret that I didn't get this the first time, so... Uh, compromises! But I will do my best to try and record the rest of the, uh, events that take place for the Relic Weapon questline. It's been neat so far. Hmm. Alright, Sid. Uh, try as I might, my mind is drawing a blank. Maybe there's something around here that can jog my memory. Yeah, that just might work. Okay, then, lady, whoever you are. Um, Magitek armor. And... Ooh, there's something back here. I wonder what this one is. Uh, let's, let's see. Battle-worn arms. And they're not imperial design. Interesting. No, don't, don't target Makoto, target Sid. Weapons of Magitek armor, right. There was fighting going on. Hmm, I wonder why it's coming up so so fuzzy like that, though. Hmm. Like, I guess... I guess fuzzy memories do get distorted, but I didn't think it would be 
I didn't think I'd be coming across as so twisted. Wait. He said they had infiltrated the academy thingy, so then why is there... Why are there civilians here? Also, those civilians can take a lot of beating, because the, they've been shot like five times. One thing I do like about these um, story events like this one as an astrologian is that card buffs work on the um, assisting party members. Or, well, not, they're not party members, but assisting NBCs. Oh, that's not the right one. Draw a better card. Yeah. That's my luck with Astrologen. I usually end up drawing the same symbols over and over again. And they just got back up. Hmm. Yes, very interesting. It's off to the hole with you. Why would you take someone to a hole? Here we are, the Principia. Inside is the transmission tower. Ah! What in the seven hells are these? Could they be a manifestation of your subconscious? Um, maybe. I don't know. Subconsciouses are weird. Yes, sorry, as uh, uh, normally when I play healer, I have to make sure, very sure I'm on the right uh, hot bar, otherwise things go badly. I actually forgot to change hot bars in a later bit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yay! They're all dead, and then more po pop up. Oh, looks like things are happening. It's dangerous when things happen. Ah, more things. All right. But that should be the end of that bit. Hmm. Yay! I drew the exact card I needed when I needed it. Sometimes it works out. Although, sometimes isn't good enough. Hmm. But at least things are more consistent now. Although I do sometimes miss the old way astrologen works. Although I had poor luck with that too. Oh, I love the song. Bahamut? This has to be another attempt by your subconscious to stop us. Are we sure I'm not suffering from a sudden onset of psychosis? Alright, so let's just defeat Bahamut. Not like that's an incredibly difficult thing to do. Yeah. Flare Breath? Well, Sid, that's why you dodge the AoEs. 
Well, you say we have to stop it, but you realize I'm a healer, right? There's only so much I can do. Latin, that sounds dangerous. Oh, it's just that. But yeah, this this fight against the altered Bahamut, it doesn't last too long. But it is interesting nonetheless, and I figured I'd include it too. Um, it's not the only thing that happens here, and they did make a um, multiplayer, or not multiplayer, but a, an extreme version of a later encounter in this memory, but it's, um, um, well, I've never tried to do it, so I didn't record that, but I record the regular version because I thought it was neat. Oops, I didn't mean to use essential dignity there. Oh well, I get two charges of it, so it's all good. Careful, I like not the look of this. But it's Bahamut, he looks so pretty. Oh wow. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, I can move and cast at the same time, cause I got lot speed. Ha! But they're only repeating the first part of this song. Mm, so boring. Eh. Yeah, I wish there was more going on here to commentate about, but they made this fight a little too easy. So, not much more to say. We've pretty much seen everything Altered Bahamut can do. So, you know, might as well show off a bit of the other things Astrologian can do. Eh, he's gonna flatten again, but I don't want to move anymore. Ow! Didn't fully dodge that one. Whatever. Aha! Eh, he's gonna roar primally at us again. Well, that is not gonna help out. Because I know how to dodge now. Ah, oh, come on. That was more deadly when Nidhogg used it. Oh, good. Light speed's back, so I can keep... Light speeding, ha ha, or casting, whatever the right word is. Then, Makoto, you aren't dodging. You're supposed to dodge. She didn't pay very close attention to Mr. Piccolo. Nearly there, though. All right, we did it. Perhaps now your subconscious will be more forthcoming with the truth in this memory. Maybe, I wouldn't get my hopes up. And I tried to turn on a different chat box thingy so I wouldn't have to cover up the whole chat box thingy. But it looks like it doesn't put everything that they talk about on here in the events. So it's not as useful as I was hoping it would be. 
Father was so angry that day. Father, please, if you just look over this data... Enough, damn you. The next time you question me, it shall be the last. Now leave. You of all people should understand risks. Why do you f refuse to see reason? Hmm. It's rather unlike him to overlook data, no matter the source. Look here. You, uh, I mean, he left behind his research documentation. Ooh, what does it say? Uh, you pick up the research documents and find page after page of meticulous calculations and observational data on Dalamod. Young Sid... Oh. Eh, whatever. More over the vast center... Nyeh. I can't English today. But basically, it's just stuff that proves that... Um... Just proves that the uh, Empire trying to bring down Dalamod would have been disastrous. Never mind, let us press on. Ooh, it sounds like she's already figured it out. Mwahahaha. There they are, the replicas of Gunhilder's blades. Yay, good job, we finished. So we can just leave now, right? We don't have to do anything else? Mission accomplished? Know your place, Whelp. The Meteor Project cannot, will not be stopped. No, no, this is wrong. Emperor Souls wouldn't have been here. Oh, I thought it was going to be Xenos. Looks like it's just her mother. Please, Lord Varus. No! I'm not good at no's. Sid! Sid, you mustn't forget! This is only a memory! Hmm, well, that's strange. Sid Garland, bringer of ruin, herald of ash. Your father must be most proud. Ha ha ha! How does it feel to know such calamity follows your wake, that your failings bring death to all you hold dear? And now you would set this filth against me. Very well. But one fate awaits those who oppose the will of the Empire. Um, victory? Because I always beat the Empire. Except for that one time. And that other time, I guess. This trauma is too much. He's lost control. But this memory is false. Perhaps you can alter it with the Echo. Oh, 
that would be neat. Um, let's think of our truest friends. Because why not? I mean, we are fighting an evil god, right? And you have to beat the- you have to beat god with the power of friendship. That's what I learned from Persona. Yeah, I've, I've done so many trusts with them that they- that it's pretty easy to recall them all. I was always your greatest strength, instilling in others the courage to rise up, the courage to fight for what's right. Wait, is he talking about the Warrior of Light or the Emperor? Now it doesn't matter. Boss fight time! So yeah, this encounter can be done as an extreme version where, um, where you basically team up with seven other players and all that fun stuff. Now let's... Alright, there we go. Yeah, let's put cards on everyone. And I technically don't need to heal because um, there are two healers in, in this uh, group of allies I've called forth. Alphano and... Um, very on Jir, so I really don't need to do anything, but I'm going to... Oh, I guess there's technically three healers, because they also got Makoto there. Uh, keep your distance? Okay. Oh, thank good. You look like you've taken a lot of damage. Maybe we should heal you. Um, there you go. Alea Lacta Est. Hmm, well, that's weird. There's some other things I'm drawing aggro from, but I don't see them anywhere. Hmm. Oh well, I guess it's not important. Oh, getting tricksy, are we? Vian Militaire Est? Oh. You dare defy me? Yes, yes, I dare defy you, because you are... Uh, how do we say? Um, not a good un. I can do that too. See? Oh, right. I have to attack the thing. Crap. And here I forgot to uh, switch back to my attacking hotbar, and I didn't realize it, so I just kept spamming a healing spell on myself. And I didn't even notice. But fortunately, the NPCs got the job done. Oh, anyway, let's get back to it. Although, I hope I haven't been interfering with Uriangi or cards. Uh, if you've got two Astrologen, cards usually overwrite each other if you put them on the same person. So, that's a bit annoying. Oh, that doesn't look good. But you know what? I don't have to get moved back. Usually with extreme encounters, they do, uh, uh, 
They make them pretty similar to the regular one, but uh, they remove telegraphs and stuff. Um, so that could be neat. But I'm not too sure. I should probably I should probably give this a shot. I mean, there's a lot of time before the next uh, patch, or not patch, but the next expansion. No, wait, no, patch is the right word. The next patch launches, so plenty of time to get to learn, get to know how to do things. Yeah, we're gonna have to stay close too, because um, he's charging up wind energy. Oops, I put the card, used the rock cards in the wrong order. Whatever. Rin, you don't need to scream every time you do a thing. Oh. Well, there we go. Aha! We almost got him! Woo! Makes me wonder if Varus actually was that strong, or if this is just a result of the memory. Either way, victory! And then cutscene. This isn't right either. Emperor Lord Varus, he wasn't there. The Academy was given full charge of the project. Though these events are as you remember them, this is not the truth. Not entirely. Whoever this is, your mind has been trying to protect you from them. Ooh. Well, if it isn't Forrest, then who in the hells is it? What could I possibly have to hide from myself? That, obviously. So it was you who pulled the trigger, father? Sid, look, his eyes. Ooh, they're glowing. No, it can't be. Um, words of encouragement or exposition? I'm gonna go with exposition. If contact with Dalamud was able to stir Bahamut to consciousness, it stands to reason the Dreadworm discovered a way to link to the tower. In which case, there was nothing that could be done for him. There is no arguing or reaso reasoning with such individuals. There's only the will of the primal. And if Bahamut was controlling your father at the time of the accident... Then in all likelihood, it wasn't an accident. And so the truth finally comes to light.
All right, and yeah, everything is back to normal. We're helping the cat daddies out by making a single weapon that the Warrior of Light will use, even though they might not even be at the battle. <sighs> Both Amit Thrall and known was the Riser. Not even your own son. You crazy bastards did it! Once Makoto's described the... Oh, nah, whatever. Uh, on behalf of the Bozhan Resistance, you have my deepest thanks. I'm just glad I could help. Ever since that fateful day, the truth of what befell our loved ones had eluded us. I held the Empire and your father responsible for their part in the tragedy, and for many years, that hatred was all that kept me going. Indeed, I was blinded by that hatred, so much so that even you appeared to be a, me as an enemy. I could not see the blood, sweat, and tears you have poured into bettering the lives of those seeking freedom from the Empire. I could see only a guardian, and for that, I am sorry. If you can forgive me, let us be allies, united against a common foe. Come now, I'm the one who should apologize to you. After all my father and the Empire did, even if not all of their own volition, their crimes will never be forgotten. At hazard, even victory over the Empire wouldn't be enough to ease such pain. Even now that I know the truth behind the Bozha incident, all it's done is make me question the choices that led me here to this moment. But regardless of the past, we have to keep pressing forward, one step at a time, for freedom. Just as the heroes of Eld would have done, we Bozhans grew up on such tales of peerless warriors, pure of heart and unwavering in their conviction. Yet here we are, so full of doubt and uncertainty, will we ever earn our place in the pages of history? Cheer up, um, however you say that name. If we live long enough, perhaps we'll be the ones to pen them. Um, yeah, although writing your own history seems to be a little... Ugh, I don't know the right word for it. Hmm. You say the crystal focus is no longer responsive. It would appear that what stores of Aether resided within it have been depleted. I did not expect our exploration of your mind to be so taxing. Once I it, identify its etheric affinity, blah blah blah... Hmm, I thought the belt, perhaps the Alliance could use it to extract information from some of their... Yeah, I went too, way too fast. I should have recorded this, or recorded the audio as I was going, but I didn't think to do that. Eh, well, whatever. I'm sure if you are interested in reading, there is a pause, fu uh, pause button, but uh, it's a bit troublesome to ask you to just pause and read it, because then there's no lovely background music. And, you know, the whole point of a video is that I'm supposed to do the reading for you, but, eh, whatever, whatever. It is a bit of a contextless story, though, so kind of tough to expect, um, expect a new viewer to completely understand everything that's going on. But I'm doing my best here to fill you in. Alright, and then we talk to Marasak. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so they're going to begin making the weapons and preparing for battle. So, to prepare the next step of the relic quest. Yay! And we can warp here now from the Domen Enclave. Meanwhile, at Valnane in Dalmasca. Yeah, Damasca is just part of Final Fantasy XIV's world now. Who knew? Seems like the entire continent of Ivalice is there. Very, very interesting. Our spies at the Ganagos encampment have confirmed work on the Blades of Gunhilder is un underway. 
Hmm. If they are welcome to them, who has need of such trinkets when the Lady of Blades will soon be in play? We will proceed as planned. When their forces reach Boza, you know what must be done. Understood. The Empire is fated to fall, but in its place a new nation shall rise, grander and mightier than anything the Garleans could have ever dreamed. And it shall be made possible by the very power they abhor. I don't know, are you gonna summon a primal too? That is very, very rude, you know. On the edge of memory. Save the Queen, Chapter the First. All right, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and cut the recording off here. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.